Erica was at the University of Liberia and started having these seizures. She was taken to prayer homes, taken to herbalists, and wherever the parents could take her. She came to my office with her mother. The mother said that you were the one that saw this man. Will you all be here? And my daughter died. And the fact that Jackson F2 Hospital has for its motto, caring with compassion and quality, I was overwhelmed and said, this is one life that needs to be saved. I decided to call Dr. Sampson. And when I called Dr. Sampson and talked to him at John Hopkins, he said, okay, I will see what we can do. And it was through Dr. Sampson it was that we got into contact and to God be the glory, it happened. So we have a passion to establish a neurosurgery department at Jackson Abdo Hospital. I remember Dr. King telling me how difficult Erica's surgery was. And he said, Marge, if this was done in the United States, even in Atlanta, it would have been considered a huge case. And yet we were able to pull it off, basically, with everyone working 24 seven to save her life. She recovered and went home. She wasn't fighting for Erica. She was fighting for Liberia. Because like you say, there's other patients that, and other people that are saying, when's it my turn? If the Colibu Neuro Foundation is being supported, then of course my dream could come to reality. A neuro department at the Jackson F2 Hospital cannot come to fruition in the absence of the Colibu Neuro Foundation not having the means of helping us. So if you are in power, you can look back and see how much with the limited resources you have, you've gone over them, you have made a difference in the lives of almost 20 persons. So just imagine mm -hmm. if you were to have so much, we could change so much in Liberia. And so this is what I'm excited about.